Alrighty, guys and gals, what's going on, everybody? Biggie here with you. Just doing a little bike tour of my, just the, the campus kind of near my, my house here. Also testing out, doing more testing on the, uh, the little handheld cam that I got. The Acaso V50X 4K camera. I guess it looks okay. I don't know. Um, I'm just, I'm watching this back for the first time as, uh, as I'm doing a voiceover for it. I just thought I'd put this out on the channel for everybody. If anybody's interested, this is a small little town I live in. It's called Silver City, which is in New Mexico, which is in the Southwest of the United States. And it's about 930 in the morning, about 90 degrees. <laughs> it's been quite warm. It was a hundred degrees yesterday. So this is just going out towards like a little back way out here. I don't know why I've decided to come this way first, but um, this is, I ride my bike around this area every once in a while. And I thought, you know, now that I've got the camera, it came with a bunch of little mounts. I figured why not make a little video and do some more testing on this camera. So this is shooting at 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, and it's okay. It did split the video into two videos. So I'm curious to see what the second half looks like. So. Anyway, this is my place coming up on the left. But you can't see it. The white fence, my place is behind there. There's my Camaro. We're going to be doing some work on that pretty damn soon. That's my house right there to the left. Well, it's my landlord's house. And so Western New Mexico University, I live right beside it. This is one of the buildings. It's spread out. It's a fairly large campus. And I'm only going to show you maybe about a quarter of it. Um, I like riding my bike around here, though. It's it's pretty it's pretty decent. There's lots of nice little artwork and stuff that the students have done. It's really quiet. I think this was put here. Uh, I think the first building was 1908. It's been here since then. I could be wrong on that, but I see 1908 a lot on like benches and stuff. So I think that's the thing. And I'm not a student, so I've never been in any of these buildings. Some of them are open to the public, like there's a gym and a pool you can be a member of. But I just want to show you some of the artwork. It's really cool. This is a little commons area, I guess. I see kids in here every once in a while. I mean, I call them kids. Really neat what they've done. Not a problem with graffiti from what I've seen. Once somebody puts one of these murals up, they, you know, people leave them alone, which I appreciate. This is one of my favorite ones tucked in right back here. I just love this one. It's so cool looking. And that's the, uh, I mean, I guess that's the tag of the artist who did it. I don't know, at least, yeah. I don't know, I think that looks really cool. So the whole, all of the artwork here, it does have, as, as well as the sculptures, all of the buildings, It there is a, a Native American culture, a big Native American culture here in the Southwest of the United States. Um. And all of the art, all of the the um, the statues and stuff, it's all Native American stuff. There's a football field down here. This is the Western New Mexico Mustangs is their mascot. I come out here and I'll watch football games every once in a while. It's a really quiet campus. The only time I ever hear anything is when there's a game going on over here. I think we get a little shot of the field while I take a drink. Got a little bottle of water with me. Yeah, they do it up pretty big, the football games. They have music, and um, it's pretty neat. They've got a band, cheerleaders, and all that stuff. Kind of nice. Very well maintained in there. They also have baseball and soccer, and I think they have a swim team as well. Right. The security guard is always sitting right there, right there on the left. The guy's Every time I come over here, he's sitting in that shady spot right there. <laughs> I've never seen them anywhere else. So this is part of the campus all along here, and it goes way back. I think it, it's it's spread for like two miles or so. I mean, I, and I don't know very much about college campuses because I never went to college. I didn't get that experience. So, but this is a beautiful campus for a, you know, and this is a small university. You know, it's not a, it's not a big major thing, but it's a really nice main, uh, uh, manicured and maintained campus. They have all kinds of events over here all the time. A little cobblestone area here. This is typically how I ride when I come. You know, if I ride over here, this is typically the path I take most of the time. I'm kind of limited um, 
this is kind of at the top of Silver City, pretty much. So everything from here is kind of downhill, like downtown and everything is downhill, which means I would have to ride my bike uphill. <laughs> and uh, it's too damn hot and I'm too old for that. So I kind of stay on the high sides up here. I got some maintenance workers there. That's This is a, a beautiful fountain, but they've got it shut off today. They're cleaning it. There's the Mustang and Usually there's water flowing there, and they've got lights on it. It looks really, really cool. A big open area here, a big commons area, and they do – they have uh, school events as well as community events in here. They also have Native American um, markets and things in there as well. Really interesting. And I don't even know what most of these buildings are. That building right there to the left is the Student Memorial Building. I don't really know what that's about. I'm not sure. I, I've never been in there. I don't know that that's open to the public. I'm not sure. And right up here ahead of us is the, uh, this is a Native American Cultural Center. I've never been in here, but I do believe this one is open to the public. I think it's student art and things. The majority of the students... Well, I think it's the majority of the students here are Native American, some tribe or another, many different tribes here. Beautiful art there on that building. Also on the other side, we'll see the art on the other side on the way coming back. So the camera looks okay to me right now. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look 4K. It, I would like if I saw this, I'd say, oh, this is 1080p, but I, it looks okay. You know, it's just okay-ish, I guess. But I've not been impressed with it so far. If you're going to get the the Acaso, get the V50, not the V50X. Get the older camera because I did some research on this after, and it's better quality than the newer one. This is this is a this represents something in the Native American culture, but I do not know what it represents, and I don't know from what tribe. But. I'm just taking a little drink of water and figured, you know, give you a little shot. So you can see how, how open it is if you look out there towards the horizon. Uh, this is high desert is, is where I live. And um, I, I get a better shot here. And I plan to get much better shots. I'm going to take a couple of different tours. We'll go downtown. I also want to go out to Santa Rita, which is a ghost town here in New Mexico. And that's where I used to do a lot of my grave cleanings at this really, really old graveyard. It's no longer being used. Uh, some of the graves in there are over 100 years old uh, and more. Really interesting. Kind of creepy too, but I'll, I'll take you out there maybe this fall or something. Got to get my car working right. Little bell tower. That goes off every hour. I think it goes off every hour. It also might be a bell for school. So here's 1908, you see there. I see that all over. So I'm assuming this was established in 1908. And now most of this obviously is new, is put in later, but the main building, which is on the street, we don't, I'm not actually going to go over there, but that's a beautiful building too. Over on that other side, you see some mountains back there. There's a little area here where we get a, a pretty decent view. So it's a, it's a, it's kind of up and down. It it uh, like this mountain bike I have isn't really the best. It's kind of cheap, so the gears are a bit of a struggle. Cardio is a bit of a struggle, but so you can see, you know, the surrounding area like, like those low low mountains out there. Silver City, New Mexico. I believe we are at seven thousand elevation i think it's either six or seven thousand feet above sea level here i think albuquerque is seven thousand santa fe new mexico is eight thousand feet above and i think here in silver city we're six thousand feet above uh sea level yeah just a beautiful campus very well maintained i love these non-deciduous trees that they you know they keep their foliage Winter or summer. The lightning strike happened right there on that tree. I don't know if you saw that. Or uh, maintenance cut it down. It looked like a lightning strike to me, though. Get a lot of lightning storms out here. We are up high. I mean, not that that matters. But so here's the art. This is the other side of that building we saw on the way in. I just, I love it. This, and this is all over the place. 
there's so much of it. And maybe one of these days I'll, I'll try to find it all and just do like a video tour of just the artwork. It's amazing. There's a lot of this downtown as well, local artists. I don't know if this is a, a public building here. I'm not actually sure what this building is, but it's really cool looking. So it warms up quite quick here. You know, it can be like 70 degrees, 65, 70 degrees at dawn. Uh, and it can be 100 degrees uh, in like two hours. It gets really warm really, really fast. So if I do any riding around like this, it's generally before the sun is full intensity. And right now I'm out here in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. A little sun is good for, for you, you know. But I do have a little bit of sunblock on as well. I don't want those bad sun rays. So here's the memorial building. I don't, like I said, I don't know what that is. It sounds weird. It, it would You would think it's students who have died. I, I don't know. It's interesting. I, I, I want to look into that a little bit more, see what that's about. I've never actually been this way. It's just a different way through the uh, the area here, I guess. Oh, this just comes out back around where we were. So that's a little commons area out there where they do the markets and things like that. They did fireworks out here. They did them downtown as well. Pretty famous. Well, not famous, but there's Einstein Bros Bagel right here. This is a public place. It's... Uh, I hear they make really good bagels in there. I don't know. I've never been in there, but pretty interesting place for like a local shop, like on campus. But there's a, a several buildings like that. Yeah, I fell in love with this place. I fell in love with the Southwest. The, on my first trip, when I moved to California from North Carolina, I came through this area, the Southwest, uh, New Mexico, Arizona. I just fell in love with it. And uh, I don't know, it was 10, 15 years later, I found my way back and now I'm living here. So here's the pool. There's also a gym over there to the right. And that is a public pool, but you have to pay. Uh, you have to pay to swim there. It's heated in the wintertime. And the gym is really nice, but it's stupidly priced. And you pay by the semester or something, but it works out to almost three times as much as a normal gym membership. And they're not open seven days a week. They're not open 24 hours a day. So it's, I don't know who in their right mind would work out there. I don't know how a student could afford it. Actually, it's probably free for the students thinking about it just now, but for the public, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it looks nice from the, uh, you, I can, I've looked through the glass a few times. It does look really nice. Let's take a little break here, get a little sip of water. Yeah, so the camera, like, it looks okay, I guess. It doesn't look too bad right now. But again, I don't know. It just, for some reason to me, it just doesn't look 4K. But maybe if you're watching on a cell phone, it, it might look all right. Let me know what you guys think about it. But we're coming up to where the camera, it, it stops this first video and it, it starts recording a new video. So I'm curious to see what that's going to look like. Because when I check the properties of it, it they looked different to me. So let's see what happens there. And this happened once before when I was using it. And the quality on the second video was shit compared to the first one. I But I guess it does that to save space or maybe there's just a limit. There probably is a time limit uh, on it, I guess, maybe. And then it just starts a new recording. Head back up this way. I don't know what that building is there. But here's parking. So here is the new video is starting. So it started now. You just saw that little change there. So it stopped and starts again. I wonder if that's... I'll have to look look at the manual and see if that's normal. So this is a bit of a... It doesn't look as steep as it is, but it's pretty steep for me at least. So I'm... I got this thing and, you know, the one gear, <laughs> just pedaling my ass off. I'll take a little rest up here. 
Down here to the right, they also do a lot of community stuff. Uh, the public, a lot of, they have like uh, public soccer games, festivals, all kinds of stuff down here. I think I might get a shot when I, I'll turn my wheel here in a second as I'm taking a, a breather. Yeah, we well, can't see too much, but down there it's a big open area. Uh, I've seen people, like groups of people doing Frisbee, that people bring their dogs down here. And it's also lit. So this is also where they play soccer. Um but I think they have a new soccer area now for the for the, the school. But I have seen soccer games out here. I guess this video looks okay. Now they're actually watering it down there. And I've not even seen all of the buildings on the campus. Like I said, it, it's really spread out. But it's a, it's a, I think it's a gorgeous campus. Not a lot of students here. And like I said, it's really quiet, you know. That's a fine arts center right there. They have movies and stuff, right? Right, That building up there to the left, I don't know if you saw that. Never been in there, but they do. There's also, they do, um, I believe the students have uh, like plays or whatever. I don't know what you call them in that building. I could be wrong and probably am. I love the lights. They have the, um, the low light pollution lights around the campus those lights right there you see but there are a lot of old stuff this is a really old western town so there's a lot of really really old stuff in this town it's slowly being replaced and you know some older buildings up here to the left there's my camaro down there on the right Really old houses over here. Silver City is a poor, it's a pretty low income area. Um, but I, I, I don't, I just love it. I just love it. So that old building right there to the left, that is a really old building and the school owns it. And there's a community center over there. And then the back where that blue container was, that the, the school also owns that. That's where the maintenance facilities are located. And this, that's my landlord's car right back there to the right. That's the backyard where the chickens are. So my landlord is in this right-hand section of the house. This is the little walkway here, stone fence. You got the bird feeders up here. This stone fence, there are a ton of lizards always out here hanging out. There's my bird feeders. That's my landlord's kid's bike right there. Cora is her name. And that's it. That is the end. <laughs> so... I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was okay. I'll, I'm going to try to do more of this stuff on the channel uh, because I do have a series, you know, for members only of the channel. And I'm feeling pretty bad about that. So I want to do some stuff for everybody. You don't have to be a member of the channel to, you know, just to kind of experience, I don't know, my life, my world, if anybody is interested. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, look for more in the future. But that's it for me. You guys and gals take care. I'll see you in a future episode of something. Peace.